Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon, and I'm back again with another anime review. I just recently watched Barakamon, and this is a woefully short anime that is absolutely beautiful, and it just has all of those wonderful summer vibes. It's very relaxing. It's a slice of life anime that stars a calligrapher, and... I'm not going to say what happens because this reveals a rather large plot point which sets in motion the entire fish out of water sort of trope and finding oneself and pushing oneself outside their comfort zone, learning new things that they never even thought existed and their wealth of information grows, their circle of friends grows and they themselves grow and it's just a beautiful pedantic anime that just shows what can be done if we decide to do something different that normally we wouldn't do but this was something that the main character was prompted to do and he decided to go along with it and it ultimately transforms him but I give it two thumbs up five stars hands down everything about it is absolutely spectacular the animation is beautiful the soundtrack is just tremendous and I just I love the characters especially Tama um, well the other characters are interesting as well give me a second hello Hi! Okay, so you want me to meet you out there? Yes, yeah, meet me out there. Uh, I Sounds good. Yeah, I'll take care of that. Alrighty. Later, Gator. Bye. But anyway, as I was saying, Tama immediately became one of my favorite characters and and Honda risked his eccentricities and how he became immersed in his work literally to the point of just going into tunnel vision I thought so true of just the creative type I fall into that category particularly when I just I'm really into a story if I'm just so um, engrossed and involved in what I'm creating nothing can deter me but it just it shows just so much growth over a period of time and it's really just um, light-hearted heartwarming and a very positive reinforcing encouraging anime particularly if you're like me and you're creative and um, plus you also get to see some really stupendous artwork in this um and I can't say that much else about it other than it was just way too short and I wish it would have been longer because I think they could have done a lot more with the story but as far as 11 episodes are concerned they tie up everything really well with a nice little bow and it's just a lovely way to just relax and laugh and um, shed a few tears and just realize how truly magnificent life really is, particularly from a whole new perspective. <laughs> so that's all I got to say. Till next time. Live long, prosper.